In this video, we're going to explore how you can use the for loop together with the if statement in JavaScript. And this is useful if you want to find a certain value out of a array of values or from a loop. So let's look at this. So for example, here, we're going to create first a for loop. And in that for loop, we're going to filter out a situation the moment we find a certain condition. So let's start and explore how we can do this because we're going to use the for loop with an if statement, but this will be also combined with an array. An array will give us a, a certain value and based on the array, we can create eventually the if statement. So let's look here first what we want to do. Imagine the following here. We have an array and this array has the constant of sales. So basically it's the daily sales. And every day we have sales recorded 100, 200, 400, 50, and finally 300. All right. And what we want to do is if we hit below the 100, we should get a notification that we have sales that are underperforming or that day was an underperformed day. We don't have enough sales on there. So this is a very useful notification. So with this, we can now start to create our for loop. And in there, we're going to create an if statement based on whatever we have here. So the first thing that we need to do here is to create the for loop. So we say here for, and then in here we will set the default value, which is the i or the index equals zero. And the reason why we're doing this is this is the default value where we understand how many times we'll be looping through the for loop and looping meaning how many times will we will repeat this line of code and let me show you here so once we have this the next statement we need to put in is the condition and the condition in this case is how many times should we reiterate or loop through the code imagine here we say i if i is smaller than let's say five would that would indicate we have five, we will loop this five times. And then what we have to do here is we say i plus plus, so it will increase every time through the code. So the moment it reiterates, and we iterate means repeat the code, if it repeats the code, it will add up a digit, or it will incrementally add up here the value. So it starts with zero, it will loops here, it says number one, and then number two, number three, etc., etc. So because this is zero, the first comparison here equals zero. And then once it loops true, then it's one. So the next one would be two, uh, one. And here will be one. It will loop again here. And then here it says number two. So remember that. So that means that here basically we're looping through it six times. If you want only five times, loop should be here starting at one instead of zero because the comparison starts here. All right, so I hope that makes sense. So then in here, we have an if statement. So we're going to do an if statement. And in this if statement, we will say the following. Look and say here, based on our array here, if sales array, then here we don't put the specific number, we put in the index, the i. So we say here, and then we put in zero. If i equals zero, or meaning, the first value here and then we say if it is below 100 then we can indicate here something so what do we want to show here in that case if this is true we will say here a console log we're going to make a console log we're going to show this in the console log console.log and in here we will say sales are low all right and if that's not the case we don't show anything at all so that makes sense here so we have this here and now let's save this and let's check refresh here open up and you can see now we get one message with sales are low and this is correct you only have one that's below the 100 so if you would do this one as well 99 we should get two there you are. And now you can see we get two times the message. It indicates here number two. That's two messages. But what we want to do now is to at least figure out how much is our sales. So what? how can we do this? 
Well, basically, we can add up this in here and then we combine them together because this is a variable. So it doesn't need to have semicolons or sorry, uh, strings or it's not a string. So it doesn't need any quotation. Here we have a string which needs a quotation. However, we need to indicate here a plus symbol so that JavaScript understands now that this is a variable. And this here, then we're going to add on or latch onto that the sales tax, which is a string value. And I'm going to put a space here at the end, so that will be so that will be perfect. So then you will see here the value, and then I have a space between, and then you say sales are low. Let's save this, refresh here. As you can see now, now we have the sales are low, and then you can see number 99 first, and then after that number 50 sales are low. And this is good, but However, this one should not make sense here. And the reason why it doesn't make sense is because we have here different digits here. And imagine if there would be more here, you will notice, or let's give this some different numbers. You will notice that those are not being looped through the system here. As you can see, we only have two digits or two items we are showing which is incorrect because there's three missing here. So how can we do this? Well, in here, we have the sales dot array. Uh, we have the array, this is the sales array. And here we can put in the length. And once we have this, we can start to add up this one in here, indicating the length. So if you want to understand what this is really doing, it's counting basically the length, how many elements. So there's one element, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight elements in here. So if we say console.log, console.log, open up parentheses, close up parentheses, you can see now what is the sales length here. Refresh, and we can see here a total of eight elements. That is correct. And now it loops through everything and it shows everything. And this is basically how you can start to use a for loop combined with a array as well. and combining also with the if statement. So if you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you have questions regarding to this, put them in the comment section below.